Good morning everyone. Uh, today I thought I would just do a bit of a homey vlog. I've actually been at home by myself this week and I've actually had some time off. I know, miracles do happen. No, I've had, uh, it was my birthday on Monday which was great and I basically saw my family at the weekend so Monday I just got to watch Game of Thrones and watch Harry Potter. Our sofas have finally arrived uh, but yeah I've had a few down days to do not too much work which has been really nice because I've kind of been non-stop since moving out. You may have realised and noticed that there's a lot more content on my channel now and that's because I've just been working lots. <laughs> it's It's been good though, um, hopefully you're enjoying all the new videos. But yeah, so today it's going to be a home day, I've got some cleaning to do and I actually have um, an oven guy coming around in about an hour. I hate when people are due to come and fix stuff at your house and you're home alone. I just don't like it, is anyone else like that? Um, but yeah, so he's coming and I kind of just want to get that over and done with because it's not fun. I don't like strangers in my house. Either way, we're getting the oven fixed because it keeps tripping when we're cooking stuff. So I haven't really used the oven this week. I've been living off salads. Anyway, uh, I have a lot to do today actually. I have my whole kitchen to clean. I, I let it get a little bit sad this week because I've just been watching Netflix <laughs> but yeah so let's do that um if you're wondering what I just put on my face it's the origins ginseng energy boosting gel moisturizer this stuff is my absolute favorite I've just ordered some more actually because look it's nearly run out it smells like oranges I have spoke about it before it's very good right I better go get on with my day actually gone ahead and put on a bare minimum makeup. I don't normally wear makeup at home, especially when I'm not filming, but I got an oven man coming and I didn't want to, I didn't want him to suffer with my troll face, so there we go. Um, something I thought I'd show you, which I bought the other day, I've, I feel like since moving out I've become such an adult. I've been excited about new sofas arriving. I've been really excited about my vacuum that I bought. <laughs> I also got very excited about some plants. Um, I recently purchased a couple of green leafy boys and the first one is in my bedroom and this is him. Feel free to name him down below. So this is an ivy plant. I got the pot from TK Maxx but I've put it on top of my wardrobe because I have hopes of it kind of growing downwards. Yeah, that's the plan with that one. But if I take you into my bathroom, I've also bought this. Look how beautiful it is. This is an orchid and it's very pretty. It's my pregnant cat. What are you meowing at? Are you shouting at me? Am I not giving you enough attention? No? Okay. That is Sasha. Sasha is my housemate's cat. Uh, she's a rag doll. She's very, very vocal and quite needy. I've been cat sitting all week with her and oh my goodness, she's been waking me up at half seven to 8 a.m. every morning by coming into my room and licking my face. So that's always a great way to wake up isn't it right wow my kitchen is such a mess and i have someone coming around um <laughs> look there's plates lots of plates that i just haven't bothered putting into the dishwasher cat you've got food is that nice about living in my own house. It's actually cleaning products. I know that this makes me sound like 
such a stereotype but genuinely do and one of the brands this is not sponsored by the way i just love them um it's method i've been recommended this by so many people online and it lived up to the hype uh, this was in one of my favorites videos recently this year actually and it's the daily click kitchen as you can see i use it a lot and because i have so many counters and they're quite big this is absolutely perfect and i also bought the washing up liquid to match of course i did um it smells like oranges i have no complaints about it in the slightest but it's really good i'm gonna go clean really irritating and really kind of illegal <laughs> was brought to my attention last night there's this company who have stolen my face um so it's this like facebook ad that is promoting this aloe vera healing gel and they've gone and stolen <laughs> my video like parts of it chopped it up to make it look like this cream has healed me and what's funny is it's a special effects makeup video where I've done this kind of like fake scar on my face and then they've used the before picture or video of oh my goodness they've stolen my face I don't know what to do about it except maybe complain to the ASA um, <laughs> it's it's annoying it's like how do they think this is okay they actually messaged me this morning saying we haven't done anything we we apologize though but your video was out there for just in the public that doesn't mean you can use it everything on my channel i own the rights to <laughs> my content my work you can't just take someone's face and say oh look at this magic cream it definitely works look at this girl's face who had this huge gash on her face it genuinely looked like a samurai sword had like cut my face and it had scarred over years um and they're claiming their magical gel helps <laughs> what <laughs> yeah so i'm currently i've emailed my manager about it and I spoke to the ASA about it. I'm submitting a formal complaint, but it's so annoying. I kind of feel a little bit violated. It's like you can't take my face and use it as an advertisement without asking. And even if they had asked, I would have said no. Like it's false advertising. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna stop ranting, but I'm not, I oh yeah, not pleased about that. It's just so dumb. Anyway, let's have a look at my lounge. So this is our TV and I actually have speaker stands here and here which are going to hold these speakers here um, so this is all temporary and we're going to have logs surrounding the log burner which is going to be cute i want some plants somewhere uh bookcase is going up here and then we'll have a coffee table uh yeah so the lounge needs to come together i think that we're going to put a mirror up here as well this is very much kind of in progress uh, I need to get some cushions for these sofas. These are just temporary cushions. Um, of course, got a little Hogwarts cushion there and one of my favorite cushions here. But yeah, I'm gonna get some cushions to kind of match. I'm thinking gray and pink to go with this kind of minty color. The cat wants to go out. And now oh, this cat, man, it's like babysitting, let me tell you. <laughs> Excuse me. Fine, you may be released into the outside world. I thought I'd come outside and show you the cows. I actually made friends with these cows the other day, two of the baby ones. They let me feed them and I was living my best life. I feel like Snow White, making friends with all the animals. <laughs> You know where the treats are at. Here you go. There you go, baby. Is that nice? <laughs> oh, I made friends with all of you now. <laughs> nice one for you. Yummy. It's nice. Here you go, baby. It's nice. I wasn't lying when I said I made friends with the baby cows. I'm just like Snow White. 
they like being hand-fed grass. <laughs> They're very, very sweet. They're like little cow dogs. They just like to rip the grass up and then give them some. You want it? Mm, nom 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 nom. <laughs> They're so sweet. I'm very happy that they're my new friends. You are cute. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're all very cute. It's genuinely taken me just over two months to befriend the cows. <laughs> Those are the very baby cows. I'm thinking adult cows are a little bit more shy, but I've been enticing them, talking to them, holding out grass with them until one of them finally became brave enough. <laughs> to come and say hello to me and then all his siblings came. I'm gonna go wash my hands now because cows have licked them all, but uh, they're very, very sweet. The oven man, by the way, he's left, <laughs> which is great. Um, he was here for all of five minutes. That's what we like, right? I'm going to go wash my hands now. Thought I would show you guys um, some little bits and bobs which I haven't shown you. Some of it is actually male outposts from you guys. And here's my shelves. If you've not seen my shelf video, go check that out. Um, it's very hard to kind of get all the shelves in one shot, but here we are. I've added a few little bits and bobs, like the howler. <laughs> I've also got an exercise ball in my office. And the reason I have this is I started horse riding again. I found a school which is quite local to where I live. And yeah, I've had, I've been given homework. My task is to kneel on this ball with no hands. So two knees just kneeling on it. It's like a really bouncy, it's a really big exercise ball. And tell you what, it is hard. It's all about working your core and getting balance. Uh, I think I'm getting there. I think when I first got this ball, I couldn't even do it on all fours. I couldn't do it on my knees and my hands. But now, I think I can get to two knees, which I'm quite happy with. <laughs> but horse riding's going okay. I know a lot of you guys keep asking, am I still riding? Because I know I did. I filmed my first ever lesson. But yeah, I am still riding. I actually took a few clips of when I went the other day. So this is some horse riding footage. <laughs> Still really enjoying riding. I'm trying to go at least once every two weeks. I feel as though I should be going more often, but I'm quite busy. It's really hard to fit it in, but my instructor is fantastic. She is absolutely wonderful and I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait until I get to the point where I can just not have to think about the really basic things and they come naturally to me because I'm very aware that at the moment they don't. Uh, I'm definitely better than when I first started. I'm really trying to remember to keep my heels down. Um, but yeah, so still really enjoying horse riding. Thought I'd update you with that. But let's have a look at some outposts that I've recently received. So regarding outpost, my PO box stuff actually gets sent to my parents house so i don't get it automatically i kind of get it in dribs and drabs or when i visit so the first piece of our post is from dylan so thank you very much he sent me some really cool things one of them is actually a wand which is luna's wand and i believe this is her original wand which is really cool i think he got this from wish but it's actually really beautiful here is the box and i think i gasped i opened this on, no, the day before my birthday. So I was just like, ugh. Uh, yeah, look at this. It's like little oak 
oak leaves in there it's really really pretty I have never seen one of these in person so thank you very much Dylan and as well as that I also got these are fantastic I haven't opened them properly yet but they are loads of little necklaces that look like the Harry Potter book covers how cool are they and there's seven of them which is insane so thank you so much it's very very kind you don't have to send stuff to my PO box but when you do yeah thank you so much something else that came through the outpost recently is from something from someone that you may recognize it's the person that made these um her username is sadako oh i can't pronounce it i will leave it down below but she's made me another niffler and the first niffler she made was this one and she's made me a little lying down one to go with it so that they don't get lonely so that's really really sweet so thank you very much for those um and Elizabeth has sent me a birthday card. Thank you very much for that. Of course, my battery decided to die. Yeah, this is really, really cool. This is from a fellow Magical Online family member called Holly. She's 14 and she loves my collection. Um, she really likes the Lost Diadem of Ravenclaw. It is very magnificent. It is, you are correct there. Um, she made me this really cool thing. It was pa packaged like it was from in the outpost and inside, oh, she knows I like potions. There is this really small bottle of gillyweed and it's very sweet. This is going to go straight onto my potion shelf. Thank you very much, Holly. That's really, really thoughtful. And the last few bits and bobs were actually given to me by my friend Jack. You know, the guy that gifted me the advanced potion making book. He has very generously made me a replica of Hogwarts history. It, it's so beautiful and i i'm kind of speechless about it so here it is i will take some photos of this for my instagram but it's absolutely stunning even inside i mean i feel very very lucky to have been made such a beautiful book and yeah it's really pretty it's a full book as well it's just crazy to me but very skillful thank you very much jack and speaking of jack he also <laughs> sent me a bag of Gringotts coins, um, which I'm very excited about making a DIY with very soon. Um, so those are all the things that I currently have from Alpost. Just to make it clear regarding Alpost, um, I get quite a lot of it recently and it's really, really difficult to reply to absolutely everybody. I used to be able to do it. I used to handwrite letters. I even used to put like wax seals on my replies. It's just not possible to do that with all of the letters anymore. Um, sometimes I will reach out to you if you leave your Twitter or your email, but I don't get a lot of free time. But just so that you know, any outpost that does come my way, everything is read. I, I do have the time to read all of it. Um, it's actually one of my favorite things to do. So thank you to every single person that has reached out and sent me outpost. Uh, it, it really just warm my heart. So thank you very much. I'm actually going to go ahead and put the gillyweed on my shelf. There we are. Thank you very much, Holly. I'm actually really excited at the moment because this weekend, <laughs> complete change of subject. Um, I'm getting my hair dyed. It's really super long. Look how long my hair is. It's ridiculous. Basically, I get my hair done maybe once a year. Usually before summer in the city, I will have it cut, I will have it dyed, and I'll be good to go for another year. But I got the urge to kind of go ginger, like a redhead, like a Weasley, another Weasley. Yeah, so I don't know how it's gonna look, but I plan on doing that on Saturday. I have a hair appointment at 9 a.m. <gasps> Ah, I'm kind of nervous. It's like, what if I don't like it? I guess I can get it dyed again. But I thought I just fancied a change. So I'm going to get it cut probably to about here, maybe. Oh God, that's a lot. That's a lot of the ends. I haven't dyed my hair for a very, very long time. Anything other than brown. Um, we're pretty much at my natural hair color at the moment. And it's just, I just fancied a change. So prepare yourselves. You might see me with weasley hair very soon oh it's just so long i'm kind of bored with it i guess that's the main tea i'm bored with my hair oh it's just me and you cat i feel i've been kind of lonely this week i've kind of enjoyed being fully on my own but it's the first time i've been in my house 
on my own with no housemates here and I'm away from my family. None of my friends live around here. I felt a little bit isolated. <laughs> um, it's great when my housemates are here. It's always fun. But when I'm on my own, it's just me and the cat. What if I died? What if something happened to me and yeah, no one would know. No, if I ever stop uploading for a very long time, it might be because I have died and Sasha the cat has just eaten my corpse or just left me there because cats don't really care much. It's a bit different with a dog. They're very caring, but um, cats just don't seem to care. So yeah, forever alone. Um, <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna be one of those. I'm gonna become a cat lady that just lives with lots of cats. This is sad information. I swear to God, today my doorbell has not stopped ringing, but I just received the coolest stuff in the post. And for full disclosure, the stuff I'm about to show you has been sent to me for free from Alex and Annie, which is very kind. It's been my birthday this week, so I feel spoilt. Um, they sent me some really beautiful things. So they are Harry Potter inspired things from a brand new collection. Oh, you're not even ready for this. Okay, so the first thing is this stunning bangle and it has an icon for each of the Harry Potter books. It's this beautiful silver and gold cuff. I am shook. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, but that, that wasn't all. Like, that would have been enough. <laughs> uh, they also sent me... <laughs> this is insane. They, I'm trying to open it with one hand. This is very challenging. Okay, so this is the next thing. It's a necklace, which is the Godric Gryffindor sword. Wow, <laughs> is all I have to say. It is absolutely beautiful. And they also sent me another bangle. I have, um, they've never sent stuff to me before. So this is a treat and a half. Um, I have one of their bangles, which I got from when I went to New York and it had a bow truckle. This is another bangle they have sent to me and it says the wand chooses the wizard. It's beautiful. It's so pretty, I am shook. Now, the last thing I could cry at because I don't think that they sell these in the UK yet. And the reason this came about was I asked where I could get it from in England because I wanted to buy it. And they said, you can't buy it. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> that's sad. Um, and they've gone and sent it to me because they are ridiculously kind. I, I'm a little, I'm quite a lot speechless about it, to be honest. I, you guys know how much I love the flying keys, um, hence the tattoo, but look, oh, it's so pretty. This is the Alohomora necklace from Alex and Annie. Look how beautiful that is. Thank you so much, Alex and Annie. Uh, you have absolutely spoiled me, and I just wanted to say thank you. Um, if any of you want to go and have a look at Alex and Annie. They do a lot of magical things. They do Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, lots of Wizarding World collections, and they're really beautiful. This is not an ad, this is not sponsored. They did send this stuff for free, but I love it. This necklace is beautiful. I kind of want to start wearing this one in my videos instead of my time turner. It's very, very pretty. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that little bit of owl post. <laughs> Something that I have not shown you guys, which came in the post quite recently actually, are some brand new Star Race figures. I have got the Bellatrix Prisoner version. So she's in her Prisoner Azkaban outfit. And I actually have another Bellatrix, which is in, she's in her normal outfit, which is very exciting. I love these figures. Um, I now have six of these, which is a little bit like, whoa. Um, this is Ronald Weasley. So I now have all three of the Golden Trio. I think I'm gonna display them all together. Um, so yeah, there, there is Ronald. Um, I think I will do an unboxing of 
the Bellatrixes quite soon. I'll, I'll unbox both of them in one video, I think. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, I think I'm going to go now. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, I know it's been a little bit random. I don't normally do videos like this, but please do let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this of just my day-to-day -day kind of life every so often. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new here. And I'm gonna go do some editing and some emails now because the work never stops. <laughs> right, thanks for watching guys. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye!